Welcome back, I'm Kim Bowie and this is Floral Art Online and I'm here in March of 2024, <laughs> nearly said 2023, to talk to our members about this month's challenge from our judges and this month the title is Cascading Art, a waterfall of floral inspiration. Now, you will have heard me ding the uh, silver jug, but I want to talk to you about a few different ways that you could interpret that class title. It's very clear the design style that you need to use, so it's going to be in modern terms a cascade or a waterfall design, or the judges have actually said that if you would prefer, you can do a cascading bouquet. Now, I won't talk about the cascading bouquet today because I know that there are a, a very select number of members who will choose to do that and they know what they need to do in terms of a cascading bouquet. If you would like to give it a try, it is simply ensuring that if you're doing the bouquet that it has a trail. It has so that so that the, the floral material cascades down from the, the central piece that you would normally do as a as a handheld bouquet, that you have some structure and some flow of the plant material so that it, it, it does cascade down out of your hands. I wanted to talk more about interpreting the title if you were going to do a cascade slash waterfall design. Now it's a very clear design style and it does need to look like it is a waterfall so it needs to look like the plant material it has is coming from the, the top and spilling over and what you need to ensure is that it's not too heavy at the top that the, the, the plant material the colors and the, and the textures that you use in it look like they're spilling over and carry all the way through the, the fall of the water of the waterfall so a couple of things that you can use to help you in terms of getting that shape right because it's the shape that that will determine how balanced and how much your design looks like it's a waterfall and it's cascading down so in some of the other images that you'll see throughout while I'm talking I will show you one that I've done previously and where I used a palm spade but I didn't use now normally we would use it this way or but what I because I wanted to, to get the idea of the, the cascade I used the, this as the base so I had something on this other side that was holding it up in that shape so that I knew that I would get if I followed this line of the spade I would get the cascade effect that I wanted to have in the design. The other things that you could use you might have around the house I just move that one out of the way a jug something that you can what you would have to do with this is have it at an angle you couldn't have the jug flat on the bench for the competition you would need to tilt it at an angle so you're going to have to have something under there that is sympathetic to the rest of the design and then you have your plate material coming out the, the beauty of the spout and the jug and the handle is that it, it will give the visual impression of something being poured out so it's cascading water falling out of the jug and I guess with that you could use a little bit less plant material than you might otherwise. Now the other option that I, I gathered in looking around the house was a two-part one. So we've got a, a glass crystal flat plate and on top of that I'm putting what we would probably call a fruit bowl or a, a, a um, sweets bowl or lollies bowl and sitting that on top. And what that gives you in that structure is a place where you can start your design and have it cascade over. What I would remind you about is that you shouldn't have your plant material sort of a, that the level of this rim. It needs to be a little bit above. It needs to look like it's come up like a fountain, up and down, so that it is water falling, it is cascading down. The other thing you can do is have waves of it so that you have lines of your plant material that are cascading through so that it looks like it's it's gathering momentum as it comes down it's a difficult design style to interpret and that's one of the reasons that the judges chose it we want to challenge our members to think about how you can portray a cascade or a waterfall with plant material you will need in the greenery side of things you will need things that are light and airy and pliable so you'd probably be looking at ferns or grasses or something that you can 
group together and have on mass but you can also have separately so that they will give you that flow that movement that you're looking for in the cascade so i wish you all well with this month's challenge it is what did we say it was she said looking it up again cascading art a waterfall of floral inspiration i'm kim bailey and this is floral art online